What up everyone? Donald back again with another FFmpeg trick video. This time I'm going to show you how to stack videos next to each other, uh, both horizontally and vertically. This would be useful if you want to make a comparison. So let's say you have a some raw footage that you haven't processed or edited, edited how you talk, and a uh, version of it that you've done some kind of processing to, and you basically want them to both play in the same video so you can see what the difference is like. Uh, that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Uh, before we get started, if you enjoy my content, drop me a subscribe to help support the channel. Really appreciate it. With that, let's move on over to my terminal. So we're in the now, I'm sure, uh, all too common Animal Crossing recording directory. And um, I thought maybe something that would be useful is if I use this method to create comparisons of the original clip that I extracted and the processed version of the clip. And I've already created these, but I'm going to show you the commands I use to create them and I will explain what is happening. So let me flip through my history. Uh, let's see. That's not what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? This is what I'm looking for? E almost. That's virtual stacks. Where is my H stack? Here it is. So what we are doing here is I am passing in two input files. This is the raw version, and this is the um, one of the ones that I processed. And I am passing, I am creating a complex filter graph because I have multiple inputs. And we the the filter we are using to achieve this this horizontally stacked effect is uh, plainly named H stack, meaning horizontal stack. And what we're doing here is I'm passing in the video stream of the first input, so the raw footage, and the input stream of the uh, one of the process the, the processed file. And I'm testifying that there's two inputs. Um, I don't actually have to put that because by default, uh, inputs will default to two. And then the second option here is called shortest. What shortest is doing is saying that if one of these streams is shorter than the other, set the length of the newly combined video stream to be the shorter. This defaults to zero if you don't pass this in, meaning that, um, let's say if I have one of these is like a minute, and the other one is 30 seconds, the um, output will be a minute. So it will play, and then 30 seconds in, one of them will end, but then it will keep playing. Uh, but I wanted, the, I wanted to stop when the shorter one's done. And then I label the newly created video stream LV, and then I'm just mapping that newly created video stream to the um, output file. Um, I think, the thing I was going to show you that showcases what this looks like is I actually used this to make a, yeah, um, I made a, a gig on Fiverr in case somebody wanted me to do this like processing on their recordings. So I made this little horizontally stacked example to show here's your raw, here's what it looks like after I have done the process to it. And if we show, if I show it to you, um, you will see that the original recording is on the left and the time-lapsed version is on the right. Uh, I thought this would be pretty uh, enticing for someone who wasn't really sure what it meant when I said that I would be editing these. You also see that there's text overlaid. You can do that with FFmpeg too, but that's a, that's a whole other video because that was kind of a trial and error to get them positioned correctly. Now, not only can you horizontally stack videos, you can also vertically stack them. And the command is almost the exact same thing, uh, with the exception being that the filter is called vstack. Yeah, the filter is called vstack, not hstack. Um, the uh, the arguments are exactly the same. Uh, the inputs are the same. I just called it something different. I called it uh, vert. So if I play the vertical version, where to go? Vert. Yeah, you will see that now. They're on top of each other, not next to them. Uh, one word of warning about using these filters is there's some there's some some conditions that have to be fulfilled in order to use them, which is that 
the videos have to have I think it's I think it's the same encoding. Like they have to be like the same like type of encoding, I believe. I could be wrong. And then in the case of H stack, the two videos have to be the same height. And in the case of the vertical stack filter, they have to be the same width. Um, if you do that and they're not, I believe it just won't play. I, I believe I actually made that mistake earlier before I recorded this, and it when I tried to play it, it just went, it just went, I can't play this. I don't know what you did, but you screwed it up, but um now normally this would be the end of this, but before I recorded this, I got to wondering if if you could combine these to create an interesting effect. And that is what I tried. So if we flip through my history, you will see I have this big um not big but bigger filter graph com complex filter graph and if you look at it you will see that okay i'm passing in some inputs i have the the raw clip again i have the 60 60 second version of the time lapse i created from it and the 30 second uh time lapse i created from it so what's happening here is that i am I'm taking the raw clip and the first and, and the second input, which is the 60 second clip time lapse, and I am horizontally stacking them. And I called it row one. If by the fact I'm calling it row one, maybe you get on, maybe you can gather what I'm trying here. Um, and then the next section is I'm taking the same raw uh, raw clip video stream again. And I'm taking this time I'm taking the video stream from the 30 second time lapse and I'm horizontally stacking those. And the output of that filter is called row two. And then finally, I thought, well, let's see if I can vertically, vertically stack the horizontally stacked streams. So I have, I'm passing into VStack, not the streams from the files, but these two horizontally stacked video streams. And you'll see that, you know, pretty much all the options are always the same. Um, and then I called this, I called it double stack. Now, I wasn't really sure what this would do. Um, I, for all I knew, I thought it would just break and not work. But I got a very interesting effect from it, which is um, when this is played, uh, you will see that what is essentially happening is we have four videos kind of playing in what appears to be like a four by, uh, not a four. Two by two grid. So we play this, and uh, this is. I thought, hey, this is actually pretty interesting. Um, I don't think I have a particular use case for this, but I thought, just as a little simple little mad scientist experiment, why not see if this works? And by God, if it did. Uh, so there you go. If you, for whatever reason, wanted to create a two by two grid of videos playing all at the same time, that is how you would do it. And with that, I believe that is all I have for this particular trick. Um, if, you, if this helped at all, if you liked the video, if you've liked my channel so far, drop me a like, subscribe. If you have any questions or any opinions about uh, this trick, uh, comment down below. Uh, down below, I also have some social links if you want to follow me on Discord, Twitter, a couple other things. Um, if you would like to support the channel, which I'd be uh, extremely grateful if you did, uh, there's some links down below to do that as well. Uh, uh, I want to I think tomorrow I'm going to have a video about how to we'll do some audio stuff. I'm not sure what, but I'm maybe trying to focus a little more on some of the audio aspects of this. I think I might do uh, how to resync a desynced video uh, because I did recently learn how to do that so I think that would actually be a good video uh, okay uh, in case you haven't realized I'm kind of just strong at this point because I ran short of this one um, if uh, again if you have any questions about uh, how to do any of this stuff uh, just comment down below um, with that y'all come on back now and I'll see you next time